Hi, welcome to Yoga with Esther part take 13. <gasps> anyway, so today we're going to be focusing on golf. The main thing our yoga do will help improve your golf. So the main thing about golf is we use repetitive movements all the time, which can be hard in the joints and the muscles. We're going to work on getting a little bit more flexibility in those. Second thing is the spine. So anyone that plays golf knows that it's all in the it's all in the hips. No, it's all in the spine. The hips do have a lot to do with it, but mostly we're working on the spine. So we're going to work on balance, concentration, and form uh, to just up your game. So I'm going to stop talking. Let's get started. So I want everyone to come into all fours. Fingers spread really, really wide. Take a deep inhale. We're going to do a thread the needle stretch. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, thread that needle underneath your left arm. Your left arm can be a supportive tool here. Palm faces towards the ceiling or it can be out in front of you. Right ear rests on mat. We're going to be here for three, two, One. Remember that breath. Scoot your hand back. Press yourself up. We're going to go to the other side. All fours again. Opposite arm comes out. Inhale. Exhale. Thread that needle. Butt is sticking up in that sky. Remember supportive arm or arm out in front of you. Whatever you feel like. We're going to breathe here for three. Two, one, bring the arm back, lift yourself up. Let's do some cat cows, warming up the spine. Remember, wrists over shoulders, knees over hips. Inhale, suck that belly in. Come into cat. Exhale, arch that spine, look up, stick your butt up. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, so the good part of this class is that it's, we're going to do this all sitting down because I'm really tired today. We're going to go into cow face arm poses, which if you are super flexible, like super flexible, no issues at all, you can do it the quote unquote traditional way. I wouldn't honestly recommend this for anyone unless you're a professional yoga genius. I don't know. So what we're going to do is I like to use a strap. You can use a belt, whatever you want, whatever, literally whatever, a towel. We're going to come and bring any arm you choose above your head, almost like you're doing a tricep press. Put that strap in your hand and grab the bottom of it with your opposite hand. Just a gentle pull here. Make sure you're not extending your rotator cuff. So I have a slight injury here. So I'm listening, I'm paying attention to my body, walking my hand down when needed. Make sure you're sitting up straight and tall. Three breaths here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. And exhale. And let's just roll our shoulders back. Pull them forwards. Get some lotion in those joints as we move on to the other side. So remember, arm in tricep press position. Overhead tricep press. Opposite hand. Grab the back. And showing you what it looks like from the back. Nice stretch. And for three, sit up straight and tall. Two, 
One. Awesome job. Okay. This is for us that don't have any shoulder problems. <laughs> now, you're going to take your strap in both hands, really, really wide, wide, wide. And you can bring it up over your head and down as you breathe up and down. And you may want to move your hands out a little wider. You can even bring them all the way back as you breathe and up over your head. Keep breathing. This is not for everyone. And release. Okay. Let's continue on. So, I love me some cat cows because they really, really help to gain a little bit of flexibility in the spine. We're going to go back to cat cows. Make sure wrists underneath shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale. Cow, spread those shoulder blades apart, exhale, cat, inhale, cow, exhale, cat. Okay, I want you to really press your left shin bone down on the mat. We're going to do a little balancing exercise. Take a deep inhale, bring that right foot behind you, spread your toes wide. Pretend like you're kicking the back of the wall. Take a deep inhale. Left hand comes out. We're going to stay here for three breaths. Make sure that you're looking down at your mat. Inhale. Exhale. Core is in tight. Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> Inhale. And exhale. And release. You can take a little moment of reprieve here in child's pose. This is my cat, if you guys don't know, who practices yoga with me. Hi, buddy. He's my boyfriend. Okay, so on to the other side. Take a deep inhale, and right foot is going to come out. Remember, stick the back of that foot on your back wall. Inhale, left hand out. Look down at your mat. The reason I want you to do that is because we're trying to create a straight line with our body. For three, breathe. Two. And one. And release. Stay in all fours. Check your... Um, Check your stance again. We're just going to roll our hips for three breaths in one direction. Remember, breath is so important. Keep it nice and strong. And reverse direction. And come back to your comfortable seated position. Inhale, hands above your head. You can you see them? Probably not. Doesn't matter, you know what I'm doing. Interlace your fingers, take a deep breath. Just stretch over to one side. We're gonna be here for three breaths. Abs are in really tight. Now we're not bending. We are stretching, we are reaching towards that corner. We're breathing with our rib cage. One more breath. And stretch your hands in front of your head. Release. Roll your shoulders back and forward as I let my cat out. Okay, kitty. <laughs> Let's do the other side. Inhale, hands above your head. Exhale, opposite side. Neck nice and long, stretching, reaching. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Breathing with that rib cage. And release. Arms again. Oof. Okay. 
All right, so we're going to do cow pose. Now, those of us with sensitive knees, don't just don't do this. It's literally you're just crossing one knee over the other. You can press down. This kind of gets into your hips. Hold it for three breaths. I have better options though because, uh, you know, we don't want to get injured. So let's work a little bit more on the hips and the spine and then we're done and you can go play around with golf. So take a deep breath, hug those knees into your chest, roll back and forward, bring your hands to goalpost arms. I love my supine stretch, my twists. Bring your knees over to one side, look over opposite shoulder, and breathe. Now, if you have a block, a pillow or something, I like don't have anything available right now. Oh, here, look, I have them. Um, all known metal bands. <laughs> you can use that as a little support. Now remember, we're breathing with our rib cage here. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Move those knees up and down. And we're not just moving them up and down just for fun. I want you to actually find what feels good for you. Because according to where you move your knees is to where you're going to feel that stretch. One more deep breath. Clench your abs so all of our weight is not in our back. You can use your hand to lift your knees, hug them into your chest, and other side. Supine stretch. Let's see what's an all note. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Huh. There is a metal band named Chapstick. There are four metal bands named Choke. I guess I'm on the seas. There's a lot of goat. There's a lot of ones that start with goat, um, and I can't repeat the word after them on video, but there are five metal bands named Goat Lord. Come on, you guys. Keep breathing. Flex your abs, hug. And let's come into our uh, figure four stretch. I love this stretch so much. It's just so good for your hips. So make sure that your, uh, it doesn't matter which ankle you cross over, which knee. Take a deep inhale. Make sure that your thigh is parallel with the ground. Your feet flex. It's just going to protect your knee a little bit. Now, with the knee that's uh, closest towards you, I want you to just Bring it a little bit closer in towards you. That's going to get into um, your hips a little bit deeper. Breathe. For three, two, one, release. Walk your feet out, ooh, the width of your mat. Gently rock your knees from side to side, keeping your core tight, slight arch in your back, you know, just a natural arch. And let's go to the other side. Thread the needle, figure four stretch. Knee closest to you. Just bring it in a little closer to your chest. See how it feels. Inhale. Exhale, sending that breath to your thigh, your hip. Inhale. And exhale one more time. And exhale and release. We're going to end today's class in uh, laying down butterfly. And I love this pose because it's really an exercise 
of just letting go of resistance. So relax your shoulders, feet come together. You can have blocks under your knees. Three breaths here. Sending your breath to your inner and outer thighs. Gently roll over and press yourself up. We're going to end our class. I told you it's going to be short. This is for athletes. End our breath with three breaths. End our breath with three breaths. You can tell these are unedited videos. End our practice with three breaths. Inhale. Hands above your head. Exhale. Inhale. Hands above your head. Exhale into heart center. One more time, deepest breath of the day. Inhale everything in. Exhale to hand center. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Um, if you have any questions, email me. Leave me a comment. I don't know. Leave me a comment. Come over. Most of you guys already know me. Um, love you guys. Namaste.